Hey there guys, welcome to video 2. Um, got the uh, XP machine all started up. I'm going to take care of a couple of things here, make sure that everything is really up to date. Double check again uh, for the virus definitions. Everything should be good though. I doubt everything, anything's gotten released in the last couple minutes. Uh, had a couple problems with uh, Kaspersky messing with uh, the virtual machine. Uh, protecting my virtual machine too so I had to turn a couple things off but that's fine no problems as uh, we got all the updates I guess they just released an update all right everything is just like it is from the factory like I said before nothing has been uh, messed with let's go to the old MSN homepage here first one is a rogue uh, let's see how it fares out. Now I know some people might say, well, the AV might catch it, might not catch it. Uh, Defense Plus might catch it, might not catch it. Well, I'm going to use both of them because it comes with the software. So let's see what happens. Uh, got a warning here. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Private uh, Thunder Risk. Let's see here. Let's run it. Run. Runtime error. Well, something's not working, I guess. Let's move on to. Oh, there you go. So we got here. Click OK. See what happens. I guess nothing. Must be dead. Move on to the next one here. I have no idea what this one is. So we'll see as we uh, go along. The uh, setup, whatever is trying to connect to the internet. Most people would say, uh, let's uh, look under more options. We got nothing else here. So most people would say, I uh, guess, allow it. I want it to connect to the internet. Let's see what it does. Let me check my threat cast ratings while I'm at it. Let's see. I don't think I was connected to the net when I did the install. Uh, no, well, nothing popped up from anybody. Let's see. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, so it must be dead. It must not be working right. That's okay. Let's move on to the next one. I got mm, So far, nothing's work right. Nah, sometimes you can't find malware that works right, I guess. Oh, this is a Chinese uh, website here. Okay, let's see. It's trying to modify a protected registry key. What would you like it to do? See, it's not recognized. Well, because it's trying to modify a protected registry key, normal people, if they read this and not just hit allow, would go block. Let's see if anything else happens here. It is in memory, though. That's interesting. So it's still in memory. So it blocked it, but it's still there. Let's move on here. Let's try the next one. The rex next one looks like it's an exploit. Let's see what we get here. Another Chinese trying to load up some kind of. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, that one's apparently dead. It's probably an exploit for. Adobe or something, and I don't have any of those installed. Let's move on. Okay, it's the Flash plugin update. Seen a lot of these. Okay, it says it's trying to connect to the internet. Well, I'm updating my Flash. Why not? Let's see. Sure, I'll let it go. Let's see what happens. I don't see anything yet. It's still 25 from that Moho one still there still churning away too as you can see taking some of the CPU time some of the memory don't see anything out of the ordinary yet alright looks like another exploit oh no I guess it's an exe I'm gonna run this one see what happens 
All right, defense alert. This is a new one. All right, uh, help protect your computer because it's trying to execute a shell code. It's a buffer overflow attack, which is good. So this, uh, the buffer overflow actually worked. So we're going to go terminate. You can see there's nothing, anything extra. It's still that Moho one. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see what this is here. Windows has found a problem with this file. Well, I guess that one's not going to work. Another Flash Viewer update. Now remember that these all are brand new. So these had very low detection rates with anybody. Not just Komodo or whoever's out there. Uh, looks like this one is actually not working. Oh, that's real nice. Let's see here, this looks like uh, we're going to move on. I'm going to stop the video soon and get a three or four more to make up for the ones. Yeah, as you can see, it's not working. It's another, uh, looks like a little exploit. A GIF exploit. This might not be working either. Yeah, page cannot be found, of course. Now this might be fake, but I doubt it. No, it doesn't work. Another Flash Player update. People apparently like to target the Flash Player. Let's see what happens here. Uh, once again, it's trying to modify a protected registry key. Oh, look, it's even got the little Flash Player icon. Let's go and we're going to block it. Oh, solar failed to load. Still, just that one up there. All right, I'm going to pause the video here, and I'll be back. I'll get a couple more. All right, guys, I'm back here. I got uh, four more uh, malware links. Let's see how these work out here. Looks uh, like it's trying to be a Java file 8.exe. Of course, that one doesn't work. I didn't check any of these, so uh, bear with me here. All right, this is uh, executable. See what we get here from the task manager. Well, got a couple of things that are popped up. Let's see here. Trying to modify again a protected registry key. What would I like to do? It couldn't be recognized. So people got to really read these carefully, especially from Komodo. Uh, we're going to block it here. See what happens. Okay, we got an error. That's good. Alright, still back to, uh, I still, a couple more, uh, out there that shouldn't be. It's still in memory, there it is. Pounding away, doing whatever it's doing. Alright, you know what I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop the video right here, because it's getting close to, uh, the cutoff time, and I'm gonna start up a new one. See you in a few.